I've been working on lately um, really just kind of learning some of the parts and pieces of the Sweet Home Alabama. Uh, the intro is really cool. Um, I was playing through it there. I know it's uh, not the exact intro there because it only goes through once. Um, but that's uh, it's kind of fun just to play through it over and over. It's, uh, it's also really neat because the uh, the fills there. Uh, now that I understand the theory uh, more. I understand what's going on, why it works. Um, it also seems to make it easier to play because you, you're not just counting frets, you're, you're starting to understand the notes and, and why it works. So it's uh, really cool with the intro. It starts out with a couple open D notes and then comes up back up the uh, D chord um, with a few of the single notes for the chord and then moves over to the C. And kind of same thing, hit the C twice. And back up the B, G, and D chords. And back over to the, and then you go to the G chord. And again, so you're doing the, uh, the G, lifting off, hitting the E, and then back to the G. And then the, the next fill that comes up, So it's uh, the open A, hammering on to the second fret there. So the open A to the B, which is the third of that G major uh, chord. And then to the D, which is the fifth. The, so the five of the uh, G major chord. And then you hit the D or the, the E note there, and pull back off to the E. And the last, you jump over and hit the A note and pull off to the open G. So that's neat. It's uh, incorporating the all the notes from the chord, the one, three, and the five, and then hitting the um, the two and the six uh, in it as well. Uh, really, really a great sound. Um, and then the other little fill that's, that that uh, happens in the intro. So that's again A pulling off to the G, hitting the G again, then down to the B and pulling off, back to the G, and then the C down to the D. In the song, they're they're bending that, but on an acoustic, I just slide into the into the uh, fifth. And then it comes back around. Same fill again. And then uh, another run during the song um, is here. So you, um, and it's following the chords, but a really neat little progression. And again, so um, here you're kind of basing this lick, the first one, so again you're into the D. And here you can see where the 
D would be off the uh, fifth fifth string uh, bar chord. But you're doing this interesting little uh, blues lick. So here's your root. You come down to the two. So you're going to two, two to the three, and you're picking up that, I think that's the blue note. I think it's the blue note, but it's uh, kind of uh, one of the notes that's common in blues. You're coming over there and hitting this note, which is the D. So the fifth, well, that'd be the root on the D chord. sliding back and you're getting ready to go to that next chord. So now we're at the let's see, let's see hold on here. So if we're looking at the C chord now, right, so we, we're sliding into the second. hitting those uh, strings that are part of that bar chord after hitting the second so and then for the G chord so again you're hitting that A to the B and then the open D and G so you're hitting the second to the third the fifth, the root, and back to the root on the lower octave. Mm -hmm. so just really neat run. Uh, kind of fun to see what's going on with it, understand it. Um, and again, just really distinctive and catchy. Um, there's one other section of it that I was uh, looking at a bit. Um, some of the different parts. So that's uh, the first time through, and then it's. And again, so um, you're coming up from the D to the C to the G, uh, but this time you're using power chords. And kind of picking up that, uh, I think they call it the boogie woogie lick, where it's kind of Chuck Berry ish. Come back from the D to the C, do the same thing. And the G. So similar to that um, fill that is in the intro. back down and pick up the G power or the C power chord. Then you roll through that again the second time around. Um, it's this neat little triple lick off of the uh, so again that's so that's the G uh, the D to the E so the fifth to the sixth and to the root to the G. So again just some uh, Really cool thing. Really, really cool. Uh, very, very distinctive, catchy thing. Is neat. Another thing I was kind of just playing with as I was uh, experimenting with different licks, kind of th having this song in mind. Um, I came up with something that I liked, and it. I think it highlights the use of kind of doing things in threes, it, but using uh, repeating something three times, you really kind of anchor that in the ear, and then you can deviate it and then come back around. So that kind of, I think, uh, engages the, the listener's ear better. So, so if we start on the G chord. So that kind of establishes it in the key of G, gives you some repetition, right? So you're pulling off the, the root to the sixth, back to the root. 
and then the second to the third. And then after that, you, you can wrap it up because it kind of leaves it open. So you, I, I can wrap it up there with this, the four chords, the five chords, and then come back and do it again. So just some, uh, some of the things I've been uh, just experimenting playing with. I haven't really been um, studying any one thing in particular, just uh, reviewing that song and playing through and see what kind of sounds I make on the, can make with the guitar with the different scales and um, just playing enough to try not to back, uh, lose uh, the progress that I've made. So that's uh, where I'm at, what I've been working on, and that's it for today.